So up next is another quarterback that I like a lot, and this is Ricky Collins. Ricky Collins is from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He goes to Woodlawn High School. Now, Ricky is a lot more raw than the first three quarterbacks that we we, we watch, but I really like his his talent. I really like his talent. So let's get uh, let's get this film up of Ricky. He, now, this is an example of a kid that has a bit of a long release that needs to be cleaned up a little bit. You can see how, how it's a little bit slower than what we saw from Nico. There's a lot more of a wind-up, but he's got a big, big arm. He, he th th Look, the reality is Ricky has one of the best pure arms I've seen in this class, just as far, as far as power. This is an example. So I want you to understand something. This is a 30-yard corner route that he throws – into the back of the end zone from the far hash in high school. Now he's got to muscle it up a little bit, but this is an exceptionally far throw, but he has an arm. He can make any throw in the field. He's the kind of kid you recruit. And honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. A kid like Ricky Collins might be an ideal type of player to bring in, in this particular class. This is a heck of a throw. You Now, now watch us, watch us throw in motion here. And I don't know if you're going to see my, my mouse, but just, you can see it here. It's, it's a little long. I want to see him kind of clean that up a little bit. You see how he's, it's a lot more of a looping. He doesn't get through it as fast. If I was his quarterback coach, I would work on trying to, 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 to speed that up just a little bit. But, I mean, this is just an absolute rope, an absolute rope. Now, what I was saying is, is that the reason I like a kid like Ricky Collins is, look, he needs, he needs mechanical work. He needs work on ball placement. He needs work on going through his progressions. But that's okay because if Tyler Buckner is as good as we all think he's going to be, Ricky's not playing early on anyway. And if if Drew Pine hangs around, then that could should give Ricky a year or two to develop and you can work on those things. And I think those are areas where, where Tommy Reese could thrive coaching a kid like this because Ricky, like a lot of these other quarterbacks, he's an athletic kid, but he's not a runner. He can run, but he's not a runner. He wants to do damage from the pocket. But this is a kid to me that has true. This this one gives me a headache. I had to fast forward to that one. This kid has a very very powerful arm. There's there's literally not a throw. Look at this. He's throwing as he's off his back foot as he's about to get hit. He's at his own about forty yard line when he makes this throw, and the ball gets caught at about the inside the fifth ten, inside the ten. And that is just a, a ridiculously stupid arm strength. He honestly, I, I'd be curious, and I don't know if he is this. I, I'd be curious if he's a baseball player. He kind of has the throwing motion that you're going to see from a lot of young baseball players. It's a longer, kind of like a shortstop type of throwing motion as opposed to, you know, a, a more pure quarterback. But this kid has really, really good natural talent. Very good natural talent. But he's going to need time. But that's okay. His he's considered a consensus three star recruit right now. Rivals in two four seven. It was a three star. I don't know what in the world would make this kid a three star other than he's just real raw. But as far as physical tools, there aren't many kids that just have the just the natural God given ability that that he can have. I mean, he just this he just makes this though look easy. This is like twenty some yards downfield, and he just snaps it off. Like I said, Ricky's just gonna need a lot of work. But that, I mean, that's a that's a really Sick throw right there. It's a 15 plus yard end cut that he just throws on a on a line. Very to town quarterback. Now, this is this is kind of to me an example of you can see Ricky is this is a this is not great footwork, right? This is he gets to his drop, he's got to step into it. This is why I think I would be I'd be shocked if he doesn't have a baseball background. He's got that sort of that shortstop crow hop. That's something that you want to work out of him. That long stride there, you want it to be quick and compact. Everything he does is kind of long and, and looping, and those are things you're going to have to work out of him, and those and that's where there is some risk with him. But just from a pure God-given ability, this is a young man that has a lot, a lot of tools. I really like this kid. Really like this kid. That's good ball placement right there. That back shoulder snaps it out quickly. You can see there, again, he's kind of got that long base. I want to see him clean that up a little bit. He, he to me, is a quarterback coach's dream because he's so raw. There's just a lot to work with, but there's a lot to work on, but he also has a lot to work with. 
I'm curious if LSU is going to make a run at this kid. I mean, he is from Baton Rouge. If I was LSU, I would have take I'd have take I'd take him right now. I probably understand why they're probably looking at Arch Manning, but I, I love this kid. I would I would I'd take him in a heartbeat. That's not mine. Don't worry. <laughs> that's their high school film. Okay, so that's Ricky Collins, everybody. Like I said, Ricky is from Baton Rouge. He does not have a Notre Dame offer yet, but Notre Dame has been on him for a while. This is a kid that the staff is very well aware of. He has talked about – now, we 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 did an interview with him recently. We didn't get enough to necessarily do a, a, a full article on – you know, but he didn't. He mentioned to us that you know he, he has a good relationship with Tommy Reese already. He really praised Tommy Reese a lot uh, for just how they've been able to talk and build that re- relationship. So, like I said, he's evidence of yes, Notre Dame has only made three offers, and right now, I don't think they lead for any of those three offers. But that that's not the only guys that they're recruiting, and I think Coach Reese has been very, very involved and engaged in uh, in quarterback recruiting. 